Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're back with quick hits. Um, it's really good to be back. We're getting to Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman says he's going to be fighting this summer. Um, all right, we're already in the summer, but that's what he says. Um, we'll see. I guess maybe August or something. It seems like he's in shape. Uh, but we're going to get into that. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe to our 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also uh, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, guys, let's get into this Keith Thurman thing. It's been out of the ring almost a year and a half again. Um, it's keepy poo. I mean, <laughs> I got a couple couple of options that I like for him, uh, but I, I just want to get into the absurdity um, that is keepy poo. Um, keepy poo, I, I thought was was on the verge when he beat Danny Garcia. You know, he beat uh, Sean Porter and, and Danny Garcia in about nine month span. Um, which is, you know, and, and, and I went over Colazzo, um in about, a, you know, a, a two-year span, um, year and a half span. Um, and, he, okay, he's coming. He, he, he's, he, he's, he's about to be the, the welterweight of the era. This is March of 2017. This is six years, so it was six years ago. In the last six years, <laughs> He's got a majority decision over Jose Cito Lopez, a loss to Manny Pacquiao, and a unanimous decision over Barrios. That's it. That's what he's got. To, he's got two wins in six years and a loss. Majority decision win over Lopez, split decision loss to Pacquiao, and then a win over Barrios. I don't think he's done, uh, but guys, this, I. <laughs> So silly. I mean, this could have been an all-time great welterweight, man. It could have been an all-time great. I thought, you know, when when um, Crawford moved up to, uh, to 47, I, I thought it was going to be – there was not going to be a best welterweight. I thought it was going to be a welterweight of the moment because I, I thought they could all beat each other. I thought, you know, there would be a – it would be circular. I, I, I thought <clears throat> um, Thurman would beat Spence. I thought Thurman would move too well. He was too quick for him. You know, he has the power to keep Spence off him. It's not like Spence could walk in on him and just knock down the front door. That wasn't going to happen. So I thought Thurman could beat Spence. Now, this is six years ago, this guy, guys. I'm not talking about today. Um, and I thought um, Crawford. Uh, and I thought Spence would beat Crawford. I, I thought Spence w is just too big and too strong for Crawford. He'll break him down. He'll get on the inside, and he'll eventually wear him down, break him down. Um, I guess I showed my hand who I'm picking in that fight. I thought Crawford would beat Thurman. Stylistically, I, I think Crawford's a much better boxer. He's more versatile. I think Crawford does more things well. He can match him with athleticism. Spence can't. Um, you know, he can match him with speed. Spence can't. Um, he can, he's a much better crashman, and I think he can match him for power, right? So I, I thought Crawford beats Thurman. Thurman beats Spence. Spence beats Crawford as a circle. So there's no best welterweight of the era. There's just a... Well, to wait of the moment. Um, and we're six years in, and they, they still haven't fought each other, which is almost unbelievable. None of them. You know, uh, it, no need to get into it. Um, so Thurman says he's come back. He hasn't fought in a year and a half since he, he fought Barrios, and, and he looked spectacular in the Barrios fight. He didn't look like he aged a day. He didn't look like he had any ring rust. He looked really, really good. Uh, I, I got two opponents for him. Now, the... When, 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 he, when he was last in the news, um, he was alleged to go to 54. So I'm going to keep that in mind, right? He's supposed to fight Spence at 54. I talked to Derek James, 
Derek says, where do you people get this stuff from? I'm like, no, that's not, that's not even official. It's that's, we're not doing that. Right. And I was like, uh, all right. And then it came out that that never happened. Um, So there's a possibility of him going to 54. He, he did not articulate where he was going to fight the fight at 47 or 54 or what his plans were. So I'm going to give two options, one at 47, one at 54. Just so you guys know why I'm, I'm throwing in a 54-pounder. Um, and look, if Danny Garcia can come up and fight Keith Thurman, if Barrios can come up and fight Keith Thurman in a non-title fight, these two fights can happen. Thurman can fight Boots at 47 or Jesus Ramos at 54. Look, you can't fight once every year and a half and say, I, I have to take a tuna fight because I haven't been active. Okay, fight somebody good, man. Like, you can't take a tuna fight because you're coming off a year and a half layoff from the Barrios fight. So you got to take it. And I'm not saying Barrios is, it, it, Barrios is a live opponent. He's a live dog. It's, it was, it, you know. Um, but you got to fight somebody good, man. You got to fight somebody good. Fight somebody good. Fight somebody good. So, um, Boots, Enos. Look, if you can't beat Boots Enos, then you're not getting in the title picture because there's Boots, there's Verge, and then there's Crawford and Spence. So there's four belts. You get, you get in the title picture, right? Um, so beat Boots. I don't think he can, right? I'm not going to pick him in either of these fights, but fight Boots. Boots needs an opponent. Boots needs a real opponent. Boots needs someone to really, really sink his teeth in on, right? I mean, um, he's been out of the ring since January. Um, so the, the, the timing of the whole thing works out perfectly. Um, and he fought Chukajan. Is that, I, it's been a while. Am I saying that right? Karen Chukajan. Um, he's got uh, a win over Castillo Clayton before that. Thomas Delorme. He's blown guys out. Sergey Lipinets. Um, he's blown out Chris Van Eerden. Um, he's blown these dudes out. Blown these dudes out. Um, but it, that's what he's got so far um, in the last you know year and a half or so. Um, 30 and 0, 27 and 0. We're well acquainted with Boots. That's a fight we need to see. That's a fight we need to see. 54. It, you know, he's a. I remember talking to him a couple of years ago at the layoff at the Pacquiao fight. He said he weighed 192 pounds. It might be time to go to 54. And if it is, you know, he's 34 years old. He spent his whole life at, 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 at um, 47. He fought in, in, in the Olympic trials at 45, right? So he's been at that weight since he's a kid. Uh, maybe it's time to move. If he, if he does great, Jesus Ramos. I already think Jesus Ramos is the best 147 out there. Fight Jesus Ramos. That's a good fight for you. Fight Jesus Ramos. That's a real good fight. It's a real good fight. Um, I pick Jesus Ramos to win. I think Ramos is too big, too strong, too powerful. He's got skills to go with it. He can box with them, and I, he can break Thurman down. He, you know, Ramos is like 21. Spence is like 34. He's got young legs. He's going to break them down. He's going to outwork him. He's going to out-hustle him. So I pick both those guys to win. Um, I, I, I think Ramos could potentially stop him, although Keith Thurman's tough as can be, so I'm not sure that he would. And I think Thurman, uh, I think Boots beats him up and, and, and takes the decision from him. I think they're both competitive fights. I, I think the Ramos fight's less competitive, but I, I think both guys are too young, too sharp. Boots is too athletic for him, and Ramos is too strong and, and, and too powerful for him, a naturally bigger man. Uh, so those are the two options. I would say if you're going to stay at 47, fight Boots. If you're done with 47, which is completely reasonable, Keefe, go to 54, fight Jesus Ramos, fight one of these young guys, prove that you still have it. It's a crossroads fight. If you beat them, you're next in line for a title at either one. If you beat him at 54, yeah, you deserve to get Jamel Charl. If you beat Boots at 47, yes, you deserve the winner of Spence Crawford. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. It's June 6, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.